This homework question came in from section 1.3. It has to do with application, uh, an application with interest. And it's similar to a problem that you'll see more complete. This is just one piece, one small part of a more complex problem. So I'm going to try to approach this video not just answering this problem, not just explaining this problem, but giving you an idea for continuing the problem also. Here's what we have. We've got combined yearly interest for X dollars that's invested at 12% interest and 50,000 minus X dollars in invested at 7% interest. I've put this information in the chart and here's at the bottom, we've got the strategy for solving word problems. I wanna show how this work fits in at steps one, two, and three, really. Step one is to read the problem and define a variable. So I've done that by saying let x equal the amount of money that's invested at 12%. I did that because they've shown that. Let me highlight it. Um, combined interest for x dollars invested at 12%. So they've def defined x as a number of dollars invested at 12%. Next, they're going to tell us that uh, 50,000 minus X dollars is invested at 7%. So I'm going to say that we'd let X subtracted from the 50,000 be the amount invested at 7%. They've already set that for us, but in another problem, it might look like this, that you have a total of $50,000, and you're going to break it up into two parts. We're going to invest part of that, so we've got 50000 total, and we're going to break that up into two parts, where one part is X, and the other part is what's left over which is the 50,000 minus X. And we're gonna invest part of this at 12%. Uh, I'll put it into an account that pays 12% interest, and the other part would go into an account that pays 7% interest. So we could see this as the amount invested, which we call the principal, times the rate the principal times rate is how we get the interest amount. This is an important piece to just know, and you, you could use that to calculate your interest rate when you have a credit card or if you have a savings account or other things. But the principal is the amount that's invested, and the rate would represent the interest rate that you're either paying or earning. So if we have X dollars invested at 12%, we can change that 12 percent that's 12 per 100 12 divided by 100 is 0.12 so 12 percent we're going to change that to the decimal 0.12 or 12 100 12 per cent is the same as 12 per 100 which is the same as 12 per 12 100 <laughs> so 0.12 and then we've got the 50,000 minus X at 7% interest. So 7 per cent is 7 per 100 or 0 0.07. So the earned interest for each of these, we're going to calculate by multiplying X times 12 hundredths. Best practice is to put the number the 12 hundredths in front of the X, right? And then for the 7% 0 0.07, times this quantity 50,000 minus X. We can get combined. Combined is going to mean to add, right? Combined means find the total. So we can get that combined amount by adding these two. Uh, it'd be 0.12X plus 0 0.07 times the quantity of 50,000 minus x. And of course, if we were going to solve this further, 
then what we would want to do is distribute the seven hundredths. So we'd do seven hundredths times 50,000, and then seven hundredths times the opposite of x. But uh, this part right here, this orange part, is the final answer to this question. Um, and that's what we'd fill in on that line. Hope that this question makes a little bit more sense to you now. Please feel free to contact me if you need just a little bit more explanation on any part of that.